What's up? Frost. And we are listening to Hooded Menace with Darkness Drips Forth. Um, it's their album from 2015. Uh, this thing is heavy as fuck. Um, the Hooded Menace finished Death Doom. Fucking cavernous, destructive pummeling. This thing is fucking phenomenal. Um, shout out to Maxon on uh, Instagram. For, uh, I was trying to figure out what to play in this video, and he posted up a the, his CD version of this, and uh, like, yeah, that'll fucking do it. All right, um, got some shit here. Got a nice little stack. This is all seven inches, and uh, some really good shit. Some shit from 2017. Uh, I think one from 2016 and one from 2015. And speaking of 2015, we're going to kick off with that one. It's one of the most recent ones I got. This is the Heaven Shall Burn Napalm Death Split that I was not fucking aware existed. I had... I've never heard of this thing. I like to think I am a decent metal blogger and I have never fucking heard of this. But uh, this thing is fucking phenomenal. I feel like I'm saying fuck a lot in this video already. This thing is great. Uh, I love Heaven Shall Burn. Of course, everybody loves Napalm Death. Uh, you get a track from each on this. Uh, the title of this split is The Mission Creep. Uh, it's also the only one I have that the uh, actual spine label is on the bottom. Odd. But uh, yeah, this thing's great. Um, Napalm Death side right there. And they have a shell burn side. Uh, comes in a nice uh, printed inner sleeve. There's the Heaven Shell Burn side. Battle of Attrition is their track. All your lyrics here and credits down at the bottom. Very nicely done. Heavy duty pa uh, paper. Here's Napalm Death side. Uh, An extract. Strip it clean is their track. Again, lyrics and credits. Uh, it's just on black. Uh, nothing really crazy about the labels or anything. Uh, what is this on? Century Media. Yeah, it came out on Century Media in 2015. And uh, I kicked myself the whole time waiting on this to come in for not knowing it existed. Uh, I, I've loved Heaven Shall Burn forever. They're a phenomenal German uh, mellow death. A little bit of metalcore. Fucking great shit. And Napalm Death. Who doesn't love Napalm Death? Um, but yeah, this thing is great. And if I will look down here in the corner, I would have seen the Century Media logo. It's on both sides. But yeah, this thing is phenomenal. Uh, it makes me want a uh, LP version of this from both of these bands. Uh, but yeah, that's the first one up. Heaven Shall Burn, Napalm Death, The Mission Creep. Great. Next one up. This is one I've been needing to get for a while and just kept slipping past me and I just, uh, this is Of Nothing by Joy. Uh, I actually won a, C a cassette copy of this a while back but it never came for whatever reason. But uh, I saw it on Amazon for like six bucks so I figured fuck it, it's time to own this motherfucker. Uh, I have streamed this online a couple times and it is fucking vicious track list here. I love the artwork. Carries over to the inside. Uh, Joy are a uh, kind of black and hardcore band. Kind of, eh, I was going to compare them to like Young and in the Way, but Young and in the Way are more crusty. This is more power violency. But uh, this thing is just nasty. Uh, Vicious. Put your labels there. Pretty much same on both sides. Uh, these guys come from North Carolina. I think this is their only release other than like a two song demo. But uh, this came out on Blood and Ink Records. Right there. And I've listened to this thing many times since I, since I got it in. And it really just makes me want more from this band. So uh, if any of the members of Joy are watching, and um, 
you know, you want to throw me some new material, that'd be fucking dope. Um, but I really like Hopeless. That's great. Tearing Me Down is great. The whole fucking thing is phenomenal, but I think Hopeless is probably my favorite track. This thing is just nasty. Yeah. That's Of Nothing by Joy. Next up, this is one I was really excited about when I first heard about it. And then it kind of slipped past me for a little while, and then I finally ordered it. Uh, this is the debut 7-inch from the band Free. Not the most uh, search engine optimized band name. This is their 7-inch X Tenebris. Probably not how that's pronounced, but I don't speak Latin. Neither does anybody else for that matter, I don't think. There's your uh, really nice cardstock sleeve with all your lyrics on the inside of it. Uh, four tracks on here. Uh, if you don't know who Free are, I can't say I blame you really, but you should know who they are. Uh, free, I'm not gonna show you the record, it's, on, it's only on black, but there's the Triple B Records uh, uh, labels. Uh, free is actually four fifths of the band Half Heart, who you know I love. Uh, it's the entire band other than uh, the bassist, Ryan uh, Briggs. I really hope that's his fucking name. But yeah, it's all of uh, Half Heart minus that guy with a, another guy in this place. Uh, so four fifths of Half Heart became free. Um, yeah, four tracks on here, like I said Sisyphus, Out of Darkness, Equity Head, and May I Be I. Sisyphus is probably my favorite track on here, the first one. Uh, yeah, this thing is great. Just very similar to Half Heart, maybe a little more angry, pissed off. Um, yeah, really fucking good. Uh, straight hardcore punk. Yeah. Nice artwork there. No, as I was to say, uh, fans of Half Heart, fear not, you've got free. Hopefully, they have a uh, full length coming soon because uh, those four tracks are over in the blink of a fucking eye and leaves you want more. Alright, next up. This is one I also heard about earlier in the year. And I uh, finally got around to ordering it also. This is the new 7 inch from Primer Right. I, uh, I'm sorry, but I forgot to do a lot of uh, research on this band. Uh, I don't know where this falls in their discography. I really wish I would have because I feel like a douche now. But uh, Prima Ride are a band from uh, San Francisco, California. They are thrashy, uh, hardcore, very mean, very crunchy, just pissed to the core. Uh, essentially, this band is the, uh, the remains of Scout with the vocalist of uh, Profile. Yeah, that's who became Primal Right. Uh, like I said, I can't remember what they put out before this, if anything. I feel like an asshole now, but we're just gonna we're gonna push on. First off, this fucking artwork is gorgeous. I fucking love this. Not sure who the artist is. If it says, it does not. But uh, here's your, sorry, got caught reading for a second. Uh, this is your lyric sheet. Nice, heavy duty paper. I'm gonna read this little piece right here. Uh, I lost it. I'm not gonna search for it. I'm not gonna read it anymore. Maybe you can, yeah, check it out. Uh, record just on black. No uh, sleeve or anything. But uh, yeah, this thing has been on my turntable non-fucking-stop. It is so good. Uh, it's Prima Right with Sensory Link to Pain, which I don't think I said the name of the album before then. Sensory Link to Pain. Three tracks. The title track, Is It Me, and Primal Discipline. Fucking great. Alright, next up. This is one I picked up at that uh, I Hate God show last month. Yeah, it's been that long. I've been sitting here waiting to do this. 
But, uh, this is Dawn Patrol with Chemical Lobotomy. Uh, it's got, uh, two tracks. The title track, Chemical Lobotomy. Oh, excuse me. And on, uh, side B, The Town of Dread Sundown. Nice. Well done inside of the, uh, jacket. The record is just on black. You got these nice labels. Uh, I was, I had no idea who this band was going into that show, but uh, they blew me the fuck away. It's the inner, inner sheet credits there. Uh, yeah, this, the band blew me away. They were so fucking good. Thrashy hardcore out of Memphis. Um, they just they did a phenomenal job. Three piece. Uh, it's limited. Only 500 of these pressed. I have number 114. That's cool. Didn't notice that before. But uh, yeah, they were fucking great. Uh, Singer was there throughout the entire show, moshing right in front of me. These dudes are fucking real, and they're so damn good. Can't wait to get more material and to see them again. I really fucking hope to see them again. That's Dawn Patrol with Chemical Lobotomy and the Town of Drake Sundown. I show the back really fucking cool. Self-released, of course. And we got one more. Sorry, my fucking footage is holy shit. That's awful. Alright, last up. I think I've held on to this one longer than any of the other ones. Um, this is the debut. Uh, seven inch from uh, Sea Space Cowboy. This is Fashion Statements of the Socially Aware. And, uh, this thing is fucking great. Um, insane math grind. Like, that really spastic, insane shit. Um, if the term MySpace grind means anything to you, then you're my people. Because, uh, bands like Heavy Heavy Low Low and, uh, See you Next Tuesday did a little bit that really crazy grind that was insanely popular on MySpace. Um, that's what this is. It's a serious throwback to that. And I fucking love it so much. Uh, this is also numbered. It's number 66 out of 167. Uh, it's just on black, but uh, the nice labels there to go with the uh, artwork. Artwork is done by the vocalist Connie. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tracks on here. This came out on a shitload of labels. I got mine through uh, Structures Agony. Uh, this nice lyric sheet that is almost impossible to read. The band photo and credits on this side. Really fucking cool. Uh, yeah, this band just absolutely taken me by storm this year. Um, this release is just insanely spastic and noisy and mean. And I, I fucking love every minute of it. Uh, shout out to uh, Christian and Levi at the Math Core Index for uh, tipping me off to this. And uh, man... Um, that is the last of this 7 inch in this video. That went by faster than I expected. I need to finish my fucking coke. Um, I have some more LPs, some more shit coming in. Some, I got some cassettes that I'm going to do an entire video for here soon. Ow! I just scratched a fucking burn. That sucked. Sorry. Um... Fuck that hurt. Um, like I was saying, I got some more videos coming up, some cool shit, and uh, yeah. But uh, I think it's gonna be it for this video. Again, all these releases. If it's something obscure, I'll throw it in the box. I might just throw a little bit of all of it in the box. Heaven Shall Burn and Napalm Death. Joy. Free.
uh, Primal Right, Dawn Patrol, and See You Space Cowboy. Um, fuck, man, that fucking hurts. Uh, again, listen to Hood and Menace in the back. Thanks to uh, Maxon. Uh, another shout out to Levi and Christian at the Math Core Index. Those dudes are always on top of their shit. Um, who else I want to shout out? Uh, shout out to everybody that subscribes to me and follows me and follow me on Instagram at Ross is the Hodo. Uh, I'm doing the September Vinyl Challenge now. You might see some funny shit on there. Uh, first one of the month, I think I posted a Bruce Willis record. Uh, because fuck it, why not? Um, guess that's gonna about do it for this video, y'all. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Let, help a brother get to 100. I've been fucking trying to get to 100. I've been doing this shit for nine months. Help a motherfucker out. I've been doing at least two videos a week for nine months. And I can't make a hundred. Help me get to a hundred. I'm, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna I'm give some away. I. It's gonna be a surprise to somebody at some point when I get to a hundred. What's up? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm out. I'm tired. I'm full. I just ate dinner. I'm gonna kick back and listen to some records. Put my kids to bed. Later.